advised. Hey everyone, welcome to the discussion for Estrella Drive, uh, the new Time Stories expansion. Um, guys, this was fucking boring. It was, it, was, <laughs> the, the, it was very topical, like it was, there was a lot of like 1960s culture and things like that, like a lot of tie-ins and actual mentions yeah. of people, like it was, it was neat, but god damn this was the most boring one yeah, that, I that thought, I've played at least. I thought the shortest one. It was, actually I, I appreciate that it was so short. Um, yeah. I thought that this one was uh, going to be a stretch. Because remember whenever I mentioned that it was like in Hollywood mm. or something like that? I believe one of, I think all of you guys were like, oh, that's weird. Because mm. it's not really... I just wasn't sure what they were going to do with it. Right, like, like, right. Um, I mean, I guess that's probably the best they could have done. It's a cool concept. Yeah. But, I, mean, I think it was just executed extremely poorly. It's kind of boring. <clears throat> I, I just li I liked that it was that it was like topical. That was like the one right. thing. I was like, oh, that's neat. Because like I could pick out like... Oh, a Betty Page look-alike. Like that's yeah. that's cool. Or Carl Max and Charles Manson. That's the like, Charles cool. Manson. Personally, I'm just kind of over time stories at this point. At this point, mm -hmm. right? No, I I completely agree. Um, like I was excited, and I have fun playing this. Oh yeah, like it's still fun. But yeah, like every time in the I'm expect, glad that we do this. Like, right. <laughs> it's almost like a tradition together, like, at yeah, this point. Yeah. Like all right, just another one to come Fuck, out. We hate it, but <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, cause, well, cause it, it did this like, like, roller coaster thing. The the asylum was awesome. Marcy Case was was also really good, mm -hmm. and then it was Prophecy of Dragons was a huge drop for us. I missed. And the then last the Egyptian, cabinet. you didn't miss it. Then the Egyptian one was a huge fucking d dive down, and then the one that you missed, yeah. the Arctic one, was awesome. That yeah, that one was really. That funny. one was really good, and then what was the one after that? The. I know, right? Um, oh God! Uh, I don't. Oh my I don't remember the fucking name. Of it. Lumen Fide. It was yeah, the, yeah. the Spanish one. The mask or something like that. No, no that was that was the Egyptian one. Oh, okay. The Spanish You're right. One. It was the Spanish one because remember the fucking really round faced uh, Hispanic nun or Spanish nun. Yeah. Why though, chick? Yeah. 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 That one kind of dropped, and then this one just tanked again. So it's yeah, like I don't remember much about Lumen Fide at all. Yeah, that's true. We had that shitty puzzle, Actually, remember, that we had to look up? That, oh, that we had to look yes. up the forum because oh, it, yeah. it was broken? The fucking text like, puzzle. Yeah, the yeah. path, the way the path worked, that it could fuck you over. So, yeah, I remember that one. With time stories, you know what they were supposed to do? That's right, because you were Googling. It was like 2.30 in the morning. Yeah, you were just we're like looking half asleep, yeah. like Googling so, it. <laughs> so, with this, here's what their plan was. If you, Which I kind of started when the first game first came out was... Uh, there's four quarters, obviously, in a year. They were going to release one a quarter, like a, an expansion yeah. each. And they kind of started doing that because the first game came out. It was like, hey, here's three. The, and those came out really quickly. Yeah. And they totally, like, ghosted on that. Now it's like, all right, here's another one. And they keep trying. And we talked about it last, not, and I think every discussion, they can keep just pulling out bullshit scenarios. Mm -hmm. They can just keep going, oh, here's another theme. It's like you can't just do that anymore. You just can't to, just like, be like, this whole Here, thing yeah, here's a theme. It's like a sense here's, creed. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's exactly what it is. Becoming more and more true. Like, am I excited about the pirates? I would be if they executed them well. <laughs> but, or I was expecting dragons in Prophecy of Right. Dragons. Can we get Jeremiah for that run through to just like sit in the corner the whole time <laughs> and be like, Wrong. <laughs> nope. <laughs> we, I mean, that's the thing is, uh, they have, they're trying to do this overarching story that they're still not tying up. Yeah, they're not, they, nothing in here talked about the overarching story. Yeah, it was just, oh, Bob's angry again. There's like a filler on Oh, it was a party. Yeah. Yeah. That's what, the, yeah. It this, was a filler. That's a good point, actually. The beginning is like, oh, it's a party, woo. <laughs> just to kind of get us over until this next one when some real shit's probably going to go down and those groups are going to... They didn't even tie in. Them. Like, you remember, you, once again, the one you weren't there for, spoilers for the other ones, but... This whole thing was Why would you be at this point yeah. if you hadn't seen the others? So the the Arctic one, remember how we went for too too far back and everyone was dead and yeah. we only had to small They did that really well, I thought. Then it's like, oh by the way, no, we went we went too far back and we knew what was gonna happen. That was pretty cool. That they did that well. This one was just, oh, you did the seance, and then then this happened, and then the break-in, which was just like, eh. Alright. Like, alright. <laughs> it was a whole lot of nothing. Yeah. I definitely um, agree with the I don't, I don't know if this was like the worst one, but it definitely wasn't one of the best. It was right. interesting, um, but it, it wasn't as 
I don't know. The other ones were I think, far out. Right. This one was too close to home. There wasn't like anything in this that I hated, but there wasn't really anything that I liked. That I liked, yeah. It's kind of just like, yeah. I didn't feel that challenged. Like, the last no. one was too fucking challenging. This right, one right. wasn't challenging at all. It, it was literally we just, just walk around and events. talk. Yeah, we just kind of, all right, I guess we're going to go here. Well, and we had fetch quest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even when filler. it came to our time, like, it, we weren't fucking... Well, if we had followed the rules, it would have been hard, but not, like, in a good way. It, it would have exactly. been artificial difficulty. Yeah, it would have yeah. just been we're annoying. We're doing the same shit. Right. Again. And, I mean, yeah, we were in one location the entire time. Oh. It just opened up more doors. Yeah. So nothing was stimulating. Even whenever the break-in happened, we were just like, all right, these people are here, let's fight them. Like, oh yeah, it was that one chick with the shotgun. Like, yeah, yeah, and like, even then, because it was like, what? Like, what? I wish they, if they're going to do such on-the-nose fucking Carl Maxon, mm-hmm. and so it's like, dude, just do Charles Manson, or do, just, just make it actually historically and, yeah. accurate, where you're like, oh shit, I can relate, because the Carl Maxon, I didn't make the connection. Mm-hmm. I was just like, all right, this is just some guy. Seriously, if they would actually tie in true historical events to this game, oh, that would be fun. That'd be really that cool. Would be really they w- cool. I would have been more interested in this one if it was actually Charles Manson. Now and he and was still alive when they were working on this, so. Oh, that's a good point. I don't know. If, well, so it doesn't change the happen. fact of what he did. Well, that's true. So well, I don't know if they could have used his name mm. and shit without like right contacting the dude. They're and probably then, just scared of being like controversial. Yeah. Or, right, and I mean. But then they're doing the mature audience only, so I guess they're not that scared. A lot of cussing in this one. A lot of, I mean, it's kind remember, of... Remember, guys. That's not on. It's always, it's only that one. Fucking remember! <laughs> remember it from the camera that's not showing. Oh, that was the guy who... Oh, that was uh, his son. I think. But that's the thing. It's like, so it was gory, and it was edgy. Oh, that's fucked. Someone told me, actually, that... If, if that was... Oh, my God. Like, you mean his son's receptacle? Yeah. Oh, that's fucked up. Yeah, that's I think that's the guy who has his glasses, right? No, Daddy! <laughs> but then, like, and someone told me that there was nudity. There and was there a were butt. boobs. There was boobs. We saw boobs. Barely. Barely, yeah. It's like, I mean, I guess I'll cover it up, but... It's like a side boob. Oh, that's right. It was like that fucking horrible film. That yeah, it was, the, it was the film and then the, and then the butt earlier. I mean... Oh, it was a pretty mature butt. Here's the, here's the other thing, though. The last one, remember how we also had the QR scanner and it took us to that app and we, like, we had the choices? Mm-hmm. This okay. Was just a bunch of information. Yeah, like like Luke said and hit the nail on the head. This was a filler, which is annoying because they don't pump these out quick enough for this to be like, oh, well, we'll just do this. Because I want to know what if our choices matter, but since these are static cards, they're not going to release two copies. They're like, oh, did you choose Saxon or the yeah Saxons, right? Scions. Sire, Scions. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> did you choose the Scions? Here's your copy. Did you choose the Agency? Here's your. They're not going to do that. If they do, that'd be cool. That would be pretty but that would also be a spoiler for everyone who hasn't played the game right. up until that point. So they're not going to. There may be, I, I don't know, but they, they keep trying to just add more and more and more where it's like, oh, scan, oh, bring us to our database. No one gives a shit. My favorite part of this one was fucking, it, I don't know, I'm going to be real harsh here for a minute. <laughs> I think Bob bad. is a ridiculous fucking guy, character, yeah. and oh. Afro Bob has been the best thing <laughs> so far. <laughs> Afro Bob. Because it's not explained. Like, it, it's yeah, just, it was just fucking there? Afro Bob. Yeah, because we went to that room and it was just an extra car, and I was like, oh, I don't think we're supposed to get this. Fucking Space Cowboys, are you watching our goddamn. Are you watching these videos? No. Do you know how much I'm going to find them at Gen Con, though. You should. Because <laughs> actually, I did see. You do a I did cos- see them talk about it. As, as, uh, as an Afro Black face. <laughs> and just have the Afro. And they're like, Bob? Dude, classic. <laughs> <him."> classic, like. <laughs> Early 1900s blackface with the giant red lips. Just like, like I just super jinxed racist it up. blackface. I'm really not oh doing God. that. <laughs> it's don't like, you get it? I'm Bob. <laughs> <laughs> don't, you, don't you get it? Why are you, why are you escorting me out? <laughs> <laughs> so I was, and then this was there, and it's like, okay, go to a new location, but these were That's under smoke there. Butt. <laughs> what? That's smoke butt. Smoke oh, butt. It's a, oh, it's a shell. That smoke butt dough. Is it a shell? Oh, it is a shell, From yes. back here, I thought it was a, like a... a sm- oh, like I see. It was a smoke <laughs> So what these were, was if we went into the hiding space, there were people hiding. I told you guys, we'll go to the hideout! Um, we leave the hiding place, so this allows us to like kind of move around. Um, you hit, hit in the attic, you cuddle up with Jessica Venture, the terrified, Ooh. frail young woman shakes All in the dark. All four of us. Hear Carl Maxon's hysterical laughter through the floor. Ah, ha, ha! 
The shelter that we were promised shall protect us from death and time. I know you're hiding somewhere. Show yourself. Leave the hiding place, return to location 14, then discard the four in the dark hearts, or stay hidden, read in the dark B. Lose one time under the stress effect. Maxon's footsteps fade away, and you guess that he is going downstairs to join the slaughter unfolding on the lower floor. You perceive confused and muddled noises. During the endless seconds of silence, you can easily picture the survivors trying to find a hiding place, and the new screams and shotguns tear up your ears. The silence of death soon real rules over the villa. Only the hysterical laughs of the maniacs persist. Justing... Just thinking about going downstairs to join their uh, procession since chills down your spine. We can leave or read card C. Lose more time. The chaos caused by the slaughter fades away and oddly enough the lack of noise suffocates you. It seems that no living souls are left in the house. Location 12 is no longer a threat. Place one. Okay. We can Or go the D. The silence lasts forever. Each second passing by seems endless. Your fear and cowardice have petrified you in this dead end. Getting out is an insurmountable ordeal. You stay a little longer, just a little bit longer, then you feel this creepy crawling sensation starting in your feet, which indicate that you, your return to base is pending, and we failed. Damn. So, I mean, <clears throat> I guess if you wanted to get into the mindset, if, if you kind of have a difficulty detaching yourself that this is a game, mm. and yes, this is based off real-life events, that people were slaughtered by a cult, that's really fucked up, and I understand that, but it's like, I guess this either may be really difficult for you, because you're like, oh my god, yeah, you, you can realize trying to hide while people are just being slaughtered by other people. Um, I have that detachment, so I was like, it's a game, we'll just keep going, here's the yeah. story, oh yeah, that happened, that sucks, moving on. Um, but even then, yeah. I was thinking about that before we played, like, I don't think I could ever fully immerse myself right. in one of these games. Like, right. there would be no way for me to fully, like, emotionally right. attach myself to this game. I, I mean, if you played by yourself, it'd probably be a little bit more. Could you? Is Can you play this game by yourself? Probably. I mean, you probably just control four receptacles and just kind of oh, do the story true. by yourself. But um, I mean, that, we essentially take over. Yeah, I mean, the, the the reason why like it might be even more immersive if we didn't just read the cards to each other. We're supposed to paraphrase. Oh, that's you know, true. and leave some sense of mystery. To right, the whole thing. right. Be like, oh, what do you see? But the game is already so much against you. Yeah, like, the whole concept of it is like, <clears throat> well, you have to like. You have to try and get it in as little time as mm -hmm. you can, but you have no idea what the fuck you're doing. Exactly. You just have to randomly guess and yeah. hope you get it to the right location. Yeah. Yeah. Essentially, like, we're just... Uh, yeah. Um, I did not like this one. I have not Because you don't really know what you're doing until you've at least failed once. Usually. Exactly. Yeah, and see, that... that see, because... I... This... this That mechanic, the, the time mechanic, made my top ten stupid rules, because... If it was a video game and you had to figure, and you didn't, it would just instantly be like, oh, start over, and then you're good. This is like, oh, let's redo, give me all the cards back, and we waste no 30 fucking, minutes. It's like an old NES game. There's no fucking save state. There's right. Nothing. You, just, you, you save like two progress, cards. You die, and you have to. And you start over. all over, and it's like, all right, well, we know genius. what not to do. So you, thematically, you slow, you save time. But in real life, you're sitting there for four hours re redoing it. When like, we typically have to play this game like later at night, exactly. after a couple of us get off work or one of us gets off work. Right, or like right. That. And since I run the channel, I'm just like, all right, we lost, keep going. Just, yeah. We're just going to keep punching through. And I, I was thinking, do you, do you guys think that we kind of played this too fast? That's why we didn't like it? Or do you think that... Because I, I we've like that, done it each time. Every time it's like, nope, keep going. For this one, I feel like that could have been some some part of it. But at the same time, I feel like it would have been a really big pain in the ass to go back and do right. that over again. Right. Because it was just kind of not as... Because like, even the ones that we did, like, fully, just like, ah, oh, fuck, let's keep going. They were long. Like, Prophecy yeah. of the Dragons had to hit oh, huge yeah. two parts. That one had the right. safe spot, too. Yeah, I, I spot. literally had to mm -hmm. leave in the middle of that. Exactly. Because I had things to do. Right, with. Lumen Fide also had a lot of safe spots. This yeah. one was, a, was really short. Um, and I, I'm glad it was, but it's like, even tying back, the, like, there was, it wasn't even a good story. The, the, the very beginning was just run around, it was like, I spy. And seeing fucking... We just, it, I guess it worked because we knew which items to grab. But that was true. just because the very last seance card showed all four of them and made sure to bold it out, the knife, the album. So you're like, alright, these are the four we need to get, and that's, that's that? We just, because we didn't stop the massacre. We just prevented the the eighty two people from seeing the the sixty nine massacre. Yeah. That's all we stopped. Yeah. I think. <laughs> I don't know. Um, what would you give this game out of ten? What would out you of give this oh, expansion? Oh man, this expansion. I'd give it like a three. Yeah, this expansion. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm probably I'm probably there. 
Um, like three or my four. favorite one out of all of them, I'm not going to have us all rank them again, but my favorite one was was the Antarctic one. I could give you that. This, this that one. was the most interesting because that was an actual expedition mm -hmm. as well. Like exactly. That one was something. And, and the, the, the incident from the beginning mattered later mm -hmm. on. This one, I don't think it really did except for the items. But I thought the pyramid one was my least favorite, and it was. This one is worse than that. Um, yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna set it at a three out of ten too. I, guess. I didn't, I did not like this one, but I didn't hate it either. So that's I, the thing. I, I was gonna give it like a five. Really? Give it just. That's fair. Because yeah, I could say I didn't, I didn't hate it. it. Yeah, yeah, I didn't like it. That's fair. I'll give it a five. It as was well. it, this this game. This was a time killer. That's yeah, that's just just really what I'm get it. <laughs> what about you, Ying? About five. So it was just, it was just you know, I missed, I missed the best one, but it's just like this. I'm like, oh, okay. So what is, what is your guys' favorite? Was yours the Arctic I, one? I could probably say the Arctic one. Yeah. I feel like that one played out the most interesting. It's like, hard because cool. it's been so long, right. like three years. We, we played that here. The, the asylum was the townhouse. Yeah, that was three years. Townhouse. That's about three years ago. Jesus yeah. fucking Christ! Right, dude. I've been hanging out for like three years. It's crazy. Oh, I mean, like it, with the addition of me. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. No, 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 no. You were at the apartment. Which was before the townhouse. Yeah, that's true. But it was, it was at the townhouse that we did Asylum and started this. Um, whose oh. pick was this? <laughs> this is that thing. What Dude, this is fast. Time Stories was my pick. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> We've done everyone's pick. Fuck, this still. was my pick. Jesus Christ. What have you done? <laughs> it sounded so... When you first showed that game to us, so that's it was the like, thing. So Asylum cool. was really good, even though we fucked up on the puzzle. <sighs> Then there's the zombie one. Yeah. So the many inside dragon. jokes have been spawned from this I know, one. right? So, uh, yeah, what's your guys' favorite? I but don't remember anything about Lumen today. <laughs> I really don't remember. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. It's like it was the most recent one. I don't know why I can't remember that. Right. But I, well, I, think I, about it. The first question we got asked by Seth was like, oh, do you remember the decision we made last time? Yeah. yeah. It was like, we're no, not at all. Yeah, Which, all I remember is that we had a choice because remember we could, there was Esmeralda, the gypsy. Yeah. He was, was like, hey, no, I'm on your side. Then there was, and she was like a demon. And then you yeah. had the Michelangelo, who was the angel. Oh, yeah, yeah. see, that yeah. was that one. Yeah, that was and that one was like, oh, this is kind of cool. And then they gave us that option. We had choices as we were playing. Did, like, did we, we have to like, did fight we, demons or something? Sure. Yeah, like, like, portal yeah. to hell or something? Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. And was we walked I, through all that. Was I there? <laughs> I think we were all there. <laughs> yeah, we were. Night, to be entirely honest. No, no. Were we not? Uh -uh. Maybe it's just you, but. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. I try and I try to keep a level head unless it's intently going to be bad. I wish I was drinking during this. I feel like that one was decent. I yeah, thinking back, it's been a well, while. It wasn't bad. The puzzle that that one puzzle just that broke set us it. all off. Mm -hmm. that, but mean, other than that, which once we once we looked it up, case, it made sense. Uh, it's After the thematics, you just wouldn't think that way. Yeah, so the first two were good. Mm -hmm. It just sucks. Of the expedition one. Oh, this only right. one was pretty cool. I forgot about that one. That one was pretty that thematic was pretty too, and had a good good puzzle. I just think they're they're out of ideas. Yeah. They, they they're are, just kind of pushing us yeah, along. Just, yeah. just stop. I just, just want to know the end game. I want to know what the fuck's going on. See, I cared. <laughs> I cared during Lumen today. I don't care anymore yeah. mm -hmm. about the overall story. I was really excited that I found that forum, that's the one that's, that's, that's great. Yeah, <laughs> I, I cared about the overarching story a lot in the, like the first couple games. Yeah, and I was like, I don't fucking. Care. Yeah, it's like what they need to do is do what Assassin's Creed did and go on a hiatus and then come out with a final one. Just be like, it's done. Yeah. We're done. Make the pirate one the end, but they're not. Wait, I know. They're, Assassin's Creed did that? They went on hiatus and then for like a year or two and, and they, they came out with Origins. Did they say that's the final one? No, that's no, true. no. I'm just saying that they need it. Because they released that one giant piece of garbage that was yeah. literally yeah. unfinished yeah. Unity, yeah. Yep. I'm and, glad they went on a hiatus. Right, but then they came out with Origins. Seriously, how do you release a game like immediately after releasing fucking that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. is like these are taking longer too, so that's what makes me even more mad is the fact that this took forever, like a huge gap between Lumen Fide and this one, and this was such a letdown. So now we wait forever, be like, oh my god, another, like, if people really like the game, that's fine. But they're like, oh my god, another expansion. Thank god, now I can know more about what's going on. It's, oh, no. It's a chore. It, I can't wait for another Estelle Drive. <laughs> <laughs> Playing Time Stories has become somewhat of a chore. Yeah. But I would be lying if I didn't say, like, when I get the notification that's like, oh, Facebook event created for Time There's Stories at Mac and Luke's house. So I'm like, okay, I'm, pre I'm, I'm pretty pumped. Right, at this point, it's mainly because... We have fun Cause we're playing. Friends. <laughs> Cause we're all friends playing this, um, and we we enjoy doing it. Like I had a great time, and we make a lot of jokes. Um, maybe that's why it also didn't really connect with all of us, because we made a lot of jokes on a serious event. But that's another thing we didn't realize it was about a massacre until the game was over. 
Like, oh, hi, all those people died. And Mac was just like, like halfway through. It's like it. Charles Manson. Yeah. Charles Carl Manson. Max on. Carl, oh, Charles Manson. Carl Max. Max. I mean, I guess I'm excited about the pirates, but yeah, this is a set in six. If you guys look, if you guys, if you guys want to call it quits on time stories, I, I get it. Like, mm -hmm. I did not expect my pick to end up being this like no, I mean, that's fucking the journey. <laughs> Through these goddamn not, games. I'm not excited for it, but I'll play if you guys want to. Fuck I mean, I changed my pick. You guys want to play Dungeon <laughs> Quest or some shit? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we totally can. I'll play Dungeon Quest. But then here's the thing: it's like, it's almost like ingrained in my channel. But I mean, obviously, I won't continue without you guys. Oh, true. So, do you want to continue on? I mean, this will be like months from now. That's true. Since it comes out, it's just like I'm. Da I'm down if you guys are. I, I enjoy playing this game with you guys. Three, three, four hours out of a night. We have a great time playing. So at least that's good. Yeah. Even though this one was a let down. average, yeah, it was a letdown. It was a filler. So let's end it at that. Um, that was our discussion on Time Stories and Spell of Drive. Let us know what you think of that expansion in the comments below. But other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day this is for you. Hey everyone, thank you for watching and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you want to support us, you can go ahead and click that link to go to my Patreon account. If you have any suggestions, you can go ahead and click the link in the show notes below to go to my board game geek, geek list. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.